Anyway, yeah, last time we talked was pre-Ramadan, dude. Before Ramadan. How was it for you, buddy? Wild ride. Really, it was a wild ride. Okay, interesting. Yeah, cool, man. Awesome. Um, unfortunately, uh, yeah, our our current little uh, sim here can't, can't enjoy that kind of thing. He's a vampire. Check him out, dude. I got like, I got like, uh, he's got pointy ears, man. Like, surely that's against the teachings of Islam, dude. To be a vampire and drink people's blood. Surely, I don't really know, but I would assume, I would assume that that's frowned upon. Speaking of which, remember, remember old Fatima, dude, from our last playthrough? She was Ahab's wife, dude. Remember her? Um, yeah, she's, she's in our cottage. She's the, like, vampire cottage. Looks like crap right now, because it's so cold. Man, there's flowers here. I promise. I promise. There's flowers. <laughs> oh, God, it looks like crap. But yeah, okay, well, I do have some flowers growing up the thing. Basically, this is just a thing to help convince someone to move in with me so I can feed on them. Yeah, got a couple of graves out back. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Probably a new newlywed couple, let's say that, huh? Newlyweds, young, you know, in love, deeply in love. In the night of passionate romance, a vampire dude shows up. Ramon here. And yeah, that's it. Suddenly it's his house now. I had some chairs here, but I had to sell them. As, uh, I realized I couldn't do absolutely anything in the house. Do vampires turn people in this game? Good question, my lustful friend. It's one of these powers that I can get, dude. Don't know which one. Uh, but eventually, yes, we could theoretically turn other people into vampires, you know? So that might be something interesting we can get up to, you know what I mean, bro? See, so basically, the whole the whole point of this playthrough, that's a very good, th thank you for bringing this up. Uh, the whole point of this is to see, can I level up being a vampire? Th that means I basically got to suck a whole bunch of blood to level up. To max level, can I do that without, like, just becoming bored or wanting to cheat or just hating myself and, you know, jumping off a bridge or something? Like, the one I got right now was bat form. Getting the, the ability to fly anywhere is a bat. Yeah, basically, we're gonna have to do a lot of sucking. Like, usually I'm like, ah, oh, dude, we suck. But no, I'm like, no, I'm trying to suck this time. That's the whole point of this playthrough is to suck as much as possible. Yes, okay, I, after selling my chairs, yes, I can meditate. Oh, she's leaving. Dang. Oh, she's running away. Oh, darn. Okay, darn. I really wanted to drink her blood. They become snobs. Yeah. Blood snobs. <laughs> you know? Like, you'd be off, dude. They, they wouldn't feed from you because you've had, like, jaundice and stuff, bro. But, yeah, you're kind of safe. Don't trust 100% on that, dude. Uh, are we really going to kiss her? Is she going to go along with that? Wow. Wow, okay. <laughs> Look at him! Look at him! He's like, oh shit! Did, did it was Ahab around, dude? Like, don't fucking tell your husband I just did that. Shh. What the hell? Like, he looks behind him, man. Like, what the fuck? Look at that where he face, dude. I'm doomed. I'm fucking doomed. Okay, and she's like, okay, back to my book. Let me show you this, buddy. Let's see. Do we have to go in build mode? Do it. So basically, the one that's important is all relationship gains are doubled because I'm in such a tiny house. So basically, I just met her like an hour ago, and I'm like a full romantic relationship with her. Like she's willing to just sure I'll just come hang out with this dude, read books, and let him kiss me and f drink my blood. Uh, skills increase at double the standard rate. Hell yeah, bro. You know, I, I used to wear nothing but Crocs, and then they got like th they're the three times the price that they used to be, dude. So fuck that. There's just shat out of a machine in Mexico with like, the, you know, it's plastic crap. I mean, I'm not paying sixty dollars for that, dude. Uh, oh, here's what we're gonna do though, Waz. See this house up here uh, with all the like the grave things. Why would you even decorate with stuff like that? That just like tanks the property value, I would think. But anyway, we're going to come visit these people. Average in every way. Nothing, nothing strange. Who's that girl with the horns? Yeah, she's the only other vampire in town, dude. She's the master vampire. So in order for us to have a vampire friend, we need to we need to get to know her. Okay, what, what did we just stop burning? Okay, hey, at six o'clock the sun goes down. Holy shit, that's a great thing to know, dude. Let's have a chat. Let's talk about uh, insult her yard. We're not gonna do that. Sure, we'll exchange numbers with her. Why not? Why are we so romantic feeling today? Oh, request vampiric training. 
Hell yeah, okay, I, I've never really done this, so I don't know how, how this really works, so yeah. He's like, huh, yeah, okay. Sure. Can we spar with her? I think there was like a fighting thing we can do. Let's see. Let's discuss plasma flavors with her while we're trying to figure out how to spar with her. Is this like a super romantic conversation with these two chicks and I'm not even paying attention? No, okay, I guess I don't know how to like fight with her. That sucks. Darn, like a vampire fight. Maybe I'm too weak to vampire fight with her. Maybe I'm just missing it, dude, you know. Let's brighten her day though. We'll invite you over sometime. Cause we have a much smaller house than you, so it's better. <laughs> wow, I, from the noises, it sounds like he's doing really well in there, dude. I'm unable to pay attention to him, but it sounds like he's doing really well. Yeah, he's doing all right. And they're, yeah, these are two sisters, by the way. So yeah, he's doing really well. Where are you going? Nap? You're going to go nap? Uh... Why? No, we're not gonna go nap. Nap at the most critical time of your life! Yeah, dude, right? Yeah, what the hell, dude? You're tired now? You don't even need sleep. You're a vam vampire. You don't need naps anymore. The only reason you would nap as a vampire if you're just so bored you can't even deal with the situation. And yet here he is like, oh, these two chicks are like making that noise at him. And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm, gonna go. I'm, I'm tired. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Lay down. Uh, you're an outcast. Your dastardly deeds have alienated you from polite society, but we don't care about that. We value results. You're a criminal at heart. I can see that in you. What the hell? That's a weird message to receive some from a, from a person. What did I do? I didn't do anything. I've been nice to people. Okay, well, hey, you know what? I'm just going to continue to do my thing. Only, only God can judge me now. There is no cow. The humans are the cows, dude. I wish I had a haunted pond by my house, dude. This is clearly kind of awesome. What is that stuff like? Oh, it's like bugs. Sweet, dude. Hell yeah. You know, they have the ability to, like, make choices for themselves, Waz, and that always sucks. I imagine God probably thinks the same thing about us. And then uh, shaved all right before Ramadan. Oh, okay, you shaved it all. Okay, sweet. Interesting, yeah. You know, I like a good shaved head, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's just simpler that way, dude, you know? Oh, hey, dude. Uh, you remember her from last time, dude? Here's where she lives in this place. <laughs> Old Marie here. Yeah, she did a lot of milking of the cows. Yeah, but she can still milk the cows whenever she wishes back here. Oh, yeah, there's the problem. What is, what is, what is, why, why is the noise? Oh, she, oh, did we just penetrate right through Maria and she was going up and uh, we went down the stairs at the same time. That is so intimate, dude. That is awesome. We basically just banged her. Uh, even though, you know, if, you know, if you ask her, she'd say no and that we're making it up and everything. But basically, dude, let's be honest, dude. So basically, here's something that's philosophically unsound, Waz. There is a writer career in this game. You can write, be a writer. You know, you know what it means to be a writer, Waz? Do you know what that means? It means that you write things. You write things. You are a writer. But you can't do it in this game unless you have a computer. That's the only way people have ever written anything in the history of humanity is, is through on a computer. That's the only way to do it, dude. Did you think that... Uh, that things were written before like 1998 or something? You were wrong, bro. You were wrong. These, it's impossible. So basically, long story short, I had to get a mod to let me have a typewriter uh, to write, even though I have no power to my house. I'm off the grid. That's, you know, how I do. I like to be off the grid. Let's practice writing. Let's just practice. Let's see how it goes. All right, we're just, we're gonna use the fast forward feature. We're gonna pretend it's a magic spell. Uh, writer, career, write. We're gonna write a genre book. A children's book, just like you always wanted was. We're gonna be a children's writer. How to not be stupid. Uh, stupid. Oh, let's explain it. A uh, kind and helpful treatsy on um, uh, not being 
stupid. Great. This is great. The children are going to be so grateful for our gifts to them. Well, it's not a gift. They have to pay for it. Let's see. Okay, what an achievement. Ramon finished writing an entire book. The book will be added to his inventory for future... Okay, great. Yeah, so I guess, like, uh, something happened. We it, it probably told me and I missed it. Hey, Ramon, it's me, Fatima. Do you want to go out on a date? What do you think, Waz? I'm going to let you make this call. Because if it goes horribly wrong and I'm murdered by Ahab, I want it to be your fault so I can blame someone. Hell yeah, date date it is. Okay, it's on you, buddy. This is all you. Okay, automatically it's not good because we're burning in the sun. So right there, that's a turn off to most, most women. Oh, oh, he walked away. The bartender pissed off. He was like, screw you, I'm out. Okay, there is no drinks anymore. I'm gone. You want drinks, make them yourself. And he's gone. He, even he's like, dude, now. Yeah, damn it. Hi, <laughs> my dog. You want out? All right, hang on. I'll let my dog out. I'll be right back, buddy. Right in the middle of a hot date with a dude's wife, too. That's, that's of course, when the dog needs to be let out. That's, that's how it is. All right, hang on. I'll be right back, buddy. All right, so yeah, we got to get back to this. This is hot hot married woman action hot milf because she yeah she's a milf dude because she's had a kid we were talking to her daughter so yeah she's a mom that makes it extra kinky i think dude <laughs> oh share conspiracy theories let's do that with her that's always a good thing women like to like to do they like to hear about that kind of stuff passionate kiss oh my whoa hey oh wow okay yep <laughs> We're evil. Oh, she has to piss. Quick, go to the bathroom. Don't pee yourself. What the hell? What's happening up here, Waz? Well, that was a nice time. Call you, maybe? Okay, Fatima fucked off. She left. She was like, okay, I've had enough of this date. She's gone. She's gone. Okay, well, that was a great date. That's That was a great date, wasn't it, Waz? The, the kind that ends with the girl saying she has to go to the bathroom and then she just never comes back. They're always getting on my on my grilled cheese. Oh, this chick's calling us. Hey, Ramon, it's me, Christy. Do you want to go out on a date? OK, uh. uh OK, I guess we're going on a date all of a sudden. With this vampire chick, this will be interesting. I don't know what time it is. Hopefully we don't burn to death in the sun. Maybe she won't, like, give up halfway through bathroom bathroom time, like the last girl. I guess the sun does not set at 6 o'clock in this realm, wherever we are. What realm is this? What realm are we in? Uh, this is, oh, this is Windenburg. Okay, in the Windenburg reality. Okay, we're ordering drinks. Or drink. Round of drinks for me and her. Just to, not everyone, just just us two. And now we're in a three-way conversation. Why? Why do these? I'm gonna stop dating people. They, they, we always get in. They always go bad. Compliment her appearance. How about that? Hey, you have nice teeth. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Well, you have vampire teeth. That's pretty awesome. What do you, what do you think? Vamp was it vampire teeth attractive to you? You like vampire teeth? Let's see if we can see her vampire teeth. It's hard to see it. Yeah, look at those teeth, man. That's awesome. Yeah, I wish I had teeth like that. Was let's be honest. I I would bang a chick with teeth like that, definitely. Uh, that's hot to me. I, I like a chick with sharp teeth. Same, yeah, dude. Good. I'm glad we're on the same page. Or else I'd have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry, dude. But. Uh, okay, we are having a first kiss of some kind. Well, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Dude, look at this. I'm in a conversation with a bear. There is a bear here. What the hell just happened, bro? Why? Okay, we're, hey, we're talking to a bear now, dude. Just when you think the date couldn't get any worse. It's a very awkward encounter. Yeah, it's very awkward because I'm talking with literally like one, two, three, four, five other people besides the girl I'm trying to have a date with. Look at its goofy face. That is a goofy face. Look at that. It's a very silly bear face, dude. Look at that. That's insane. Look at that. God, it's stupid. 
See, I have to cancel all the conversation things with other people. With all the, him just auto talking to all these other people. You know, it's like, dude, we're not talking to them. Leave them alone. Are we gonna like, you know, no, see chatting with Felicia, Kirsty, Nancy, Bjorn, Hadike, Diego, and Oleana. What is wrong with that when it comes to a date? What is what is what is wrong with that sentence to you? I'm chatting with Felicia. And so so this chick, that chick, this this person, that person. These oh, two bears. Why is there two bears in here, Waz? What the hell, uh, dude? Why? Okay, one was weird. Two just makes me question everything. That makes me start questioning. Okay, is, is something fucked up in the settings now? Did did a mod like mess something up? The werebear is spreading, dude. Look, look at how creepy it is to have them both look at you like that. Like, join us, Waz. One of us. Surrender your soul to the bear clan. <laughs> Why? That's the creepiest thing ever, OMG. Yeah, it's so creepy. Yeah, dude. God. <laughs> this is descending in just, just in a madness. Where is she going? Where'd she go? Oh, she sat down. Okay. She sat down. I wanted to sexy pose her. Oh, we did. We're posing from back here. We're gonna be, we're like, hey, Kirsty, we're in a sexy pose at you. It's from like, oh, behind this guy. Can you see me back here? I don't think we have a clear line of sight. There she is. This is about what I can see of her from there. There she is. Maybe she can see me. She can kind of, no, not, not really. Not really. I mean, it's, she can kind of see that much of me. What is happening with their hands? And another bear, is that a third bear, dude? What? What? Why? Why? What happened? What is this? Very awkward encounter. Yeah, it's pretty damn awkward. By the way, bear guy wants in on it. He's like, oh, yes, those are quite fine muscles, young vampire lad. How about giving me some of that? Break me off a piece of that, you lusty hunk of, of meat. And he's like, Sir, could you please give us uh, some privacy? I'm trying to talk to the vampire chick. Like, yeah, that's very awkward. We could mentor her in acting. We're not going to do that. That's a stupid thing. Is she training us? Oh, she's training us. Yes. Yes. Power. Yes. I feel the power flowing through me. I had such a great time with you. Let's do it again soon. Really? You had a great time with me. Really? What the hell is wrong with you? This was a great time to you. If you thought this was a great time, then you're sick. It's another change of the shift. And the fourth bear. <laughs> Dude! What happened? How, did, how does my game work? Now I'm beginning to question not why are there bears, but then why is everyone not a bear? Okay, well, I, maybe everyone's supposed to be a bear now. Oh, it's the day, the day the teddy bears have their picnic. Oh, that one's looking directly at me. Look at it. It's looking at Ramon. Run, Ramon. Okay, we're out of here. Sentiment gained. Oh, I gained a sentiment. You're so be fun to be around. I enjoy, uh, really enjoy spending time with you, and I hope you feel that way about me, too. Wow. Okay, so Ramon likes this, this girl. Was that's weird. Like, he has feelings independent from my own, you know what I mean? Like, I really can't care, but this, he apparently likes this girl. Okay, so, oh, well, let's confess our attraction to her. Beep, 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 beep. Oh! He wants to go check on the bookshelf again. Don't check on the bookshelf. Come talk to this. Oh, she hates us now. Look, our, our relationship tanked with Velvet here. Now it's in the red with her. Oh my God. Okay, see, we, we got to learn the, the valuable lessons about cheating on women right in, directly in front of them, apparently. I didn't know that they would mind this sort of thing, but apparently they do, Was Let that be a lesson to you. Since we can't, like, apologize like a normal human or whatever. Whoa. We'll just wiggle our hips. We'll thrust our hips at her. And she's like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Like, maybe that's why they wear these things, is to prevent against vampire attack. Maybe. I don't know. 
I don't think anyone really knows. That that knowledge is lost to history. Hell yeah, you think hell yeah was? You're you're on the hell yeah with this one on the woohoo train? Oh, she's marching off somewhere, and he's like, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. I'll be right behind you. Slowly, I'll be right in. I'll go into the love bed. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. That chick's married. That really adds to the kink of it. What do you think, Waltz? <laughs> Isn't that great? Well, you'll love his workout outfit then. <laughs> he's, he's very paranoid because he just changed out in his workout outfit and he's like, oh, I hope no one sees me like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time to go visit the neighbors. Dropping flowers. She's like, ah, flowers, they're going to crush me. Oh, I'm still alive. Okay. I'm fine. Oh, that was actually quite real. Oh, my. Oh, that's right. Okay, they're married, though. Let's introduce ourselves to, uh, to Grow Bastion here. Oh, we're still talking to uh, Brooke. Okay, Grow Bastion. Girl Bastion, how do you like my shirt? What do you think of this cutoff shirt? What the hell just happened? Why did I just slap? What the hell just happened? Why did I slap him? And he just it's disliked me because of it. What the hell? What is that? Why? Why did I do that? I like the man. I didn't want to slap him. Damn it. Damn internet. There's always the way, dude. Always at a critical time. Always when the cutoff shirts and the short shorts come out. That's when the internet decides to cut out, you know? Hey, uh, Waz? What do you think they use this room for here, dude? Acquired the striptease skill. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> this is great, dude. All right. Uh, we're going to have fun with that. <laughs> 